the Christmas hurdle. Grade one, over two miles. So number one, first battle for David Hooley along with first dance. Got a couple of maidens here. Fort of the future for Jim Murray. Good to see him back. Green Whisper for John Morgan. Volcanic Impact for Leon Van Rensburg. David Robertson's Flawless Wives. Craig Beckwith's Gem Thief. Poor Dex or Poor Doe for Darren Thompson. And Tilts at Windmills for Joshua Sutherland. Makes up nine. Over two miles here at Kempton. For the Christmas great one hurdle. It's Christmas again, they're running. They're straight into the first. We'll clear that well. The seasoned runners in here, as well as those maidens. So try and see how competitive those new horses are with the ones that are all in there as they go over the second. So they've taken two of the eight they have to take, and it's first dance that holds, but uh, takes a keen hold. And a green whisper. It's the first race I've had John Morgan in it, and he's right. It's a front runner. So Green Whispers leading us. Got a couple of legs advantage. From the chasing pack. Just the rear of that pack is Gem Thief and First Battle. Well, Gem Thief looks like a bit of racing room. But Green Whisper leads us. Coming to the back straight. Through the first half mile. Green Whisper by four to Bordeaux and first to dance. And Gem Thief moved up on the inside. Oh, and he went through the top of it, our leader there. Four length advantages down to a length and a half now. That's first to dance. Poor Dex. Oh, poor Doe. I suppose it's Poor Dare. Poor Dare. Mm. Anyway, they're over the fourth. It's still our leader, Green Whisper, but he's only got a two length advantage from first to dance and Poor Dex up against the Row. Then tilts at Windmills. Gem Thief. On between those horses is Jim Murray's Fault of the Future. Wide is Flawless Wives. Widest of all is Volcanic Impact. Just up at the rear, it's first battle. As we take the turn here, and down the side of the course, it's still Green Whisper that leads us. From Tilts at Windmills has moved into second now. We straighten up and they go over the fifth. Pretty much past the, part of, part of, uh, the point of their departure. Green Whisper still leads us by a couple of lengths to tilts at windmills, flawless wives, volcanic impact out wide up against the row of first to dance and poor decks. And we've got Gem Thief and First Battle. We've pushed along a little bit now, it's Fault of the Future. But up front is Green Whisper who tries to raise the tempo. Tilts at windmills gonna go with him. As they start the turn in. Still Green Whis Whisper from Tilts at Windmills, who's uh, cruising alongside, as well as Flawless Wise, probably just half a length further back, as Flawless Wise asks for a little bit more now, and Green Whisper races into the bend. So it's Green Whisper from Tilts at Windmills, Flawless Wise, Poor Doe's all under a little bit of pressure now, first to dance, trying to make a move and get get up on terms, but it's Green Whisper being put under pressure now by Tilts at Windmills, Flawless, Volcanic Impact on the outside, and it's Volcanic Impact that takes a length advantage out of everybody. Green Whisper starts to go backwards, but it's Volcanic Impact from Flawless, Wives and first battle as he comes down to the penultimate. Volcanic impact takes it well. From first battle in second, poor Dex trying to make up a bit of ground, but they've got to catch this volcanic impact. A furlong left to run and one to take, and it is volcanic impact by two. First battle, oh, he makes a mistake, and it's volcanic impact. Lost his momentum. Here comes poor Dex. First battle out on the wide outside is. Gem Thief, but Volcanic Impact's got back up again. Volcanic Impact just hangs on to it from Paul Doe's first battle. Gem Thief first at dance. So a win there for Leon Van Rensburg. Well done. Takes the Grade 1 Christmas hurdle. Even after a mistake at the last. Volcanic Impact takes it from Paul Dex or Paul Doe. First battle for David Hood. He got up for third. Fourth was Gem Thief for Craig Beckwith. And fifth was first to dance for Dave, also for David Hooley. So well done there. I'll get my tongue in gear.